Hey, look, guns make noise, right? Well, not always, huh, John? Not always. Okay, so why would you use a silencer? Uh, when you put a silencer or a suppressor onto your firearm, it's the same thing, it's semantics. Okay. Uh, basically, we get a lot of advantages. Number one is we take the big noise away. So as we fire the gun, the bullet's charging down the barrel, the gas is supersonic and pushing it down there. As the gas escapes the, the barrel, not unlike a cork out of a bottle, uh, we get that big boom. The boom has nothing to do with the cork or the projectile. It's the gas escaping into the atmosphere. So okay. what a suppressor or a silencer does is that... Show me on there, would you? Yeah, we have our, our cutaway right here. And what it does is, as a bullet passes through it, the expanding gas get trapped in the baffles. Okay. And the baffles slow cool, redirect that gas to the point that when it is released by it, that it's no longer going supersonic and it's no longer burning. You know, one of the things I think happens also when you shoot with a silencer is you become a better shooter because you eliminate the flinch that comes from the noise, which comes from the concussion, and that whole package. Absolutely. You know, some of the advantage that a silencer gives you when you put it on your firearm is that it actually increases slightly the velocity of your projectile. Uh, yeah. It's typically only 5 to 20 feet per second, but it, the point is that it doesn't decrease the velocity. Uh, it also will reduce the recoil of the firearm and a uh, well-made silencer on a firearm will actually make your gun more accurate. Okay, so we have titanium silencers, we have different models. We do. I mean, you guys are like at the cutting edge of silencer technology right now. Absolutely, especially in rifle. Rifle's really where we specialize, and yeah. as you said, we use both uh, high nickel steel alloys like Inconel 718, we utilize titanium, we have direct thread, we have QD, pretty much anything you want in a rifle, we can do that. Reverse compatible? They are. So uh, even though they are SIG silencers, you can put it on your uh, Remington, on your Bushmaster, on your Colt, any of your uh, rifles you have out there. The thread pitches are pretty much universal, okay. and we work with all of that. So it's our SIG silencers are backwards compatible with your firearms you already own. Okay. And people pretty much know the whole drill of the paperwork and all. It's you know, it's time consuming, it costs you a little bit of money, but it's not onerous. It's not, it's basically you're gonna pay your $200 tax, you're gonna fill out some paperwork. The worst part is that it's gotta live at your dealer until the paperwork is approved. Right. It's kind of funny, I get uh, people, one of my favorite lines I hear people say is, well, if you get approved, it's not a loan, it's not based on your FICO score. Right. If you can own a firearm, if you can own a handgun uh, in Texas, you can own a silencer. There you go. Why would you not put a silencer on your gun? I've been searching for that answer for years. There it is. Silencers from SIG. A lot of people are figuring out how much fun it is to shoot with a silencer. John, why is it such fun? Well, we're taking really one of the two things that uh, is bad about shooting and taking it away. One of them is cleaning. Yeah. I don't clean guns. Yeah. And uh, the other one is the noise the gun makes when you fire it off. Yeah. So by putting the suppressor or silencer on the end of the gun, we're going to reduce that noise to the point that it is below a hearing safe level for discharging a firearm, an impulse or impact noise. Yeah. yeah. So we got two guns here. We have a 5.56 five, can. Mm -hmm. And then you've got 300 blackout. The guns we're using are actually SIG MCX rifles. Yep, it's a short stroke gas piston, and basically this is a configurable weapon system that you can change from barrel length to the stocks to every part on the gun. Yeah. Um, also, every part of the gun is user serviceable and uh, steel on steel. Just a, the next generation rifle. Yeah, it is. And so I'm shooting, obviously this is supersonic ammo. Mm -hmm. You've got the 300 blackout and you're shooting subsonics. We yes, kind sir. of, people are gonna be able to hear the difference, right? Absolutely. We're gonna shoot cardboard, listen up. There you go. You can hear the difference. 5.56, five, you're hearing the crack of the bullet. Subsonic with the 300 blackout, you're not. But either way, a whole lot of fun. It's awesome. Silencers from Sig Sauer. <laughs>